Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Quick disclaimer here to point out that Valhalla is going to be an, uh, well, an interesting title. If you know very little about the game, I'm going to open up and say that it's not for everyone, and it's designed towards a more niche audience. The game is less of a game, per se, and more of an experience that emphasizes on its stylistic choice of retro and pixel throwbacks with a cyberpunk slash dystopian theme and story elements, with of course a sassy bartender thrown into the cauldron somewhere. The point of the disclaimer is that I'm going to have a specific way about going with the recording and the episodes, as they will go on until I feel they need to be cut, and that's about it. No fancy intros, outros, or many fancy edits. And this Let's Play will be primarily about the experience, hence why the opening will be primarily silent. And with this being said, let's mix drinks and change lives. Okay. Uh, you know what? Fine. We'll do the English and not the weeb speak. Okay. Sukeban Games. I don't know other games that they do. I think it's just this. Wouldn't be surprising to me. Ednal. Nirvana. Whenever that comes out. Yeah. Am I missing audio here? Yeah. It's too low. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of a like a dictatorship, pretty much. Well, yeah. Post apocalyptic. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, this place is just a tiny hole in the wall. It's where this story begins. Da, 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 da. Alright, so hello everybody. This is Valhalla, or VA11HallA, I suppose, but, you know, everybody's gonna fucking call it Valhalla. Valhalla. So, yeah. Welcome. Yeah, that's a thing. We got a little achievement. Hooray. Welcome to Valhalla. It. I guess it's better than welcome to Dark Souls, then. So. The best part is this changes at the top every time you open the game. Goodbye, Miss Bartender 1.2.3.0. And so. what is this plus? Prologue or Anna? Okay. I would start there first. Start with what, these ones? Yep, those two before we start the actual game. It'll give some backstory to the game. Okay. Well, first off, I do need to do a volume check, so we'll go ahead and check that one out. It seems like it's so scream. It, yeah, it, it seems like it's... It's screaming. Re! Re! see anything. Oh, the ballad of a gay ghost. <laughs> I mean, hell, ghosts can be gay just like any of us, so why the hell not? I know, it's just kind of like, oh, okay. So, I guess we start with the prologue, I then. would start with Anna. Anna, really? Okay. It's shorter. Fair enough. We're gonna do the demo for Anna. <laughs> do you want to be Jill? I think I'd be a shitty Jill, to be honest. <laughs> You've got the sass for it. Yeah, so. all right. <sighs> Sigh. Man, such a slow night. And at least I'm not serving dogs. Serving like dogs or hot dogs? Because that can mean a couple of different things. If this is you'll anywhere see. in you'll, Japan. You'll, you'll see. <laughs> Normally, this would be where a dog shows up like a cheap punchline. <laughs> I guess not. Speaking of dogs, I wonder where the hell's Gil? Gil! You were talking about a Gil. 
Alright, cool. I'm absolutely 100% positively going to be Dana. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, though, I don't know how to not sound like a dude, so... Look at her! Yeah, but I mean, I like evidently, though. She comes packing. But, like, I... <laughs> yeah, you need to really heat get the testosterone in the voice right there. The heat and meat. <laughs> heat and meat, thank you. Fuck off, both of you. <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna make it the most literally non-feminine thing in any way, shape, or form, so... <clears throat> Bored. <laughs> oh, it's only gonna get better. <sighs> yeah, especially when we get to Dorothy. Ah! Sorry. Did I wake you up? Uh, I wasn't sleeping. My eyes were open. You went to college, right? You know having your eyes open means nothing. It's fucking true, <laughs> Don't worry. I don't blame you. It's been a really long time since we've had such a slow night. In fact, I think the last time we had this a night this slow was before you started working here. Really? Yeah, it happened when Robert was still working here. Who? My first employee. The poor idiot thought a levitation potion bought and threw himself off a building. Oh. As it turned out, the potion actually worked. <laughs> again? He started rising in the air. Couldn't stop. They later found his body smeared across the nose of a commercial flight that was on its way to Conjify. <laughs> this is what this game is. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <sighs> but anyway. Should you really dismiss that so easily? That sounds like me saying a story, though. But anyway, I relate to you, Data. <laughs> we didn't have a single client that night. Not even a lost soul asking for directions, but then suddenly a kid shows up. He was obviously underage, but I was bored, so I decided to let him order something. I gave him one Carmotrine-free drink. I mean, even if I was letting him order, I wasn't about to give alcohol to an underage boy. And then, when the time came for him to pay his tab, he realized he didn't have enough money. He then yanked his shirt over his head, started screaming he's a ghost, and tried to escape. <laughs> So I kicked him so hard that he flew out of the bar and told him ghosts shouldn't feel pain. <laughs> oh, Dana! <laughs> Boss? Is this just what she's like? <laughs> Boss, did you really kick an underage kid? Of course not! I just gave him a warning sign and made him wash a couple of dishes. <clears throat> the fact that you even thought for a moment that I would kick a young, innocent child hurts me to no end, you know? You were a scary lady. Anyway, just keep it up. Someone will show up sooner or later. I sure hope so. Hold on. Come to think of it, aren't Gil's checks made out to Robert? No. <coughs> well, at least that story killed a couple of minutes. I think I'll... I don't know. Sort the glasses here or something? Huh. We had a fedora-shaped glass? <coughs> Ew. Um... Anyone here? Ah, oh, sorry. I'll be right the out. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. Yeah. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Um. Something wrong? Are you sure you're old enough to drink? Well, seeing how I'm old enough to eat solid food, I guess that drinking won't be a problem. <laughs> you know that's not what I meant. Yeah, yeah. I'm old enough to drink. I turned 21 not too long ago, actually. Mm. Hello. Hmm? Still don't believe me? What do you need me to give you? I must be sleep deprived or something. What's this deja vu feeling, though? It's fine. Don't worry. What can I get you? I feel like having a sugar rush. Sure. Coming right up. She wants a sugar rush. She looks a bit too young, though. So you can go by name. Okay, so it is the same exact shit. Exactly. Gotcha. All right, cool. We got this. Wait, you gotta wait, wait. You gotta so drag you gotta it in. Drag them. it in. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, that is different. I just also, that if you shit. want, whenever it says optional Carmatrine, that's your alcohol base. You can put as much in as you'd like, as shit faced <laughs> as you want to get her. Feel free. You know what? We're gonna do that all just right. for now. So it's now just, uh, it's yeah. all mixed. So just click. click. Oh, okay, cool. Done. I am. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know that 
she's there. there. <laughs> oh, by the way, Thanks. click I on mean... the TV. <laughs> click Oops. the TV? Yeah, click on it. Oh. Change the channels. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Only fifty nine ninety nine for a cup of... Ramen. Soup in a cup. Yeah. I saw that in an anime once. Really expensive ramen? Passy Zero. Cool. Okay. Well, I think I've seen everything that I need to see there. Yep, this is the stuff. You know, I could have been lying to you through my teeth. Mm. I could be an underage liar. You could have sold alcoholic drinks to an underage kid. How would that make you feel? Meh. Meh. I don't believe in the myth that kids don't drink alcohol. I've met 16-year-olds that drink a lot more than I do. Limiting the alcohol they can get is necessary, but if you make it look like a forbidden pleasure, well, you'll only make them crave it more. Hell, I bet if you gave kids alcohol, they'd start swearing off it earlier. So you're fine with giving drinks to underage kids? No, but if that were to happen, I wouldn't get my panties in a bunch. Wouldn't you get punished for doing that? You'd have to admit publicly that you ordered alcohol first, and that would bring you a, a different array of problems. Hmm. Oh. Did you come here looking to get me in trouble? No, I just wanted a reaction out of you, but you're taking it all too calmly. Why? I don't know. Your face makes me want to tease you. I suddenly feel like I'm back in high school. Alright, let's get this out of the way. Please show me your ID. Sure. Sure. 205 number. Probably old enough. Seems, Seems that... everything's in order. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Seems everything's in order, Miss Anagram? Anagram. Anagram. Where have I heard that name before? Go ahead. Just try to make a joke. I haven't heard yet. I'll politely refuse. No, I'm serious. Go ahead. People think it's too easy, so they never make jokes about my name. I'm still going to politely refuse. You're no fun! So, what's your name, Miss Bartender? My name? You saw my name. I have the right to know yours. Fair enough. I'm Jill. Jill what? Just Jill. Yeah, but what's your full name? Just call me Jill. Fine, I'll just pretend Jill is a way of saying your name is actually... Ugh. I'll just pretend Jill is a way of saying your name is actually Johanna Ignacia Laurent Lone. I don't understand the way the fucking grammar was working in that sentence, but sure. Actually, I'll shorten it to Joe. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever boats your float, actually. <laughs> Say, Joe, this place looks awfully desolate. Joe, she said. It's been a slow day. A really, really slow day. I'm actually glad you showed up. I was growing bored as hell. I mean, it's not like we're always bustling with activity, but this is unusual even for here. So I take it this isn't a popular place then? We have our regulars, but we're not like the bars in the main street. Still, I like this place. It's comfy and, I don't know, makes me feel safe. Weird. I mean, I feel that way too, but this place usually gives off the opposite impression. Can't blame them though, this isn't exactly the best part of the city. That's a shame. I really like how isolated this place feels. You can't hear the sounds of the city in here, it's nice. But then again, you could say I have some experience with isolated places, so it might just be nostalgia. Nostalgia, huh? What Speaking of coming. Like, oh, I can't hear yeah, I can't hear the sounds <laughs> of my people. No, uh, my victims. I know. Thing. I know. They could be your people, though. Yeah. Your victims know. can be your people. What's you a can little kill village your genocide. Yeah, exactly. What's it's a, a little... village to kill a village, after all. <laughs> That's just a regular Tuesday to me. <laughs> Speaking of coming in here, now that I think about it, you didn't ask for my ID when I first came in. Why didn't you do it if you were so suspicious? Well, firstly, I was bored. Figures. And second, I felt like you were of legal age. Um, how? We've had a lot of kids come in thinking they could get away with ordering a drink, but they're too nervous or jumpy. I don't usually give drinks to kids like that. They don't know what they're dealing with. What if they're not like that, but still underage? I 
if they at least look like they're above legal age, I would be able to live with myself, I guess. I won't give them anything if I know they're still kids, but hey, I'm bound to be fooled sometime. So I'm guessing I wasn't... jumpy? Yep. I see. Hey, Good Joe. Point. Now that I know I can get a drink legally, can I get another one? What do you want? Hmm. Give me something sweet. Sweet? Sure. She I'll wants a sweet drink, drink so... You can go by flavor. Indeed. Bubbly. Whatever, whatever f floats your I go. know what a piano woman is going to be used for later on, and a Blair, and a Brantini. Yep. Um. Whatever you're feeling, because you're not collecting. Does any it money. actually change any dialogue? No, I don't think so for this. We're gonna go with the blue fairy. Dude, get get pissed, drunk. <laughs> Listen, Flanner to guide. Literally, you can fill that till the white boxes are full. Like oh, you can God. just keep going. We're gonna go three this time. Fuck it. Oh come on. More. You wanna fill it? More. We're gonna fill it. Okay. Fine. Oh no, no, you can throw in even more. <laughs> oh no! Yes. Paula, you're trying to give her a drink, not date raper. This is the prologue. It's trying okay. To give her a drink, not date raper. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, fine. Aged and mixed. I so love how it says sweet, girly, and soft. Aged and, and boozy. And boozy. <laughs> That's definitely not soft, Very right? boozy. This is pretty much grain it's still, alcohol. It's still <laughs> the bottom row. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, mix that shit. Just a mix. Yep. Just mix. Your yeah. blue fairy, madam. Oh One god. One sweet dude. drink that just tastes awful. <laughs> it's, it's sweet, all right, but it also tastes like fucking grain alcohol, dude. Thanks. You know, if all the drinks were like this, I'd be afraid of turning into an alcoholic. Please don't joke about that. How can you say that? You're a bartender. A bartender doesn't want her clients to become alcoholics. Just like how personal trainers don't want their trainees to turn into steroid junkies. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Still, this one's really nice. Hey Joe, do you want a drink? Or do you drink? I suppose, yeah. It'd be weird for a bartender not to drink, you know? I don't know. I've met dentists with bad teeth, bartenders <laughs> who don't drink totally would make sense. That's silly. It'd be like a vegan chef running a barbecue restaurant. Pretty much. You think? Yeah, I mean, it's not a matter of whether you can eat or drink whatever it is that you're making. It's more like, why do it if you don't like it? Huh. Yeah, I guess that's true. A dentist might have bad teeth, but he still could like working in the dentistry. But why bother bartending if you don't like alcohol? See? Hmm. Hmm. Something wrong? I just noticed you haven't said my name yet. I haven't... what? Aside from when you read my ID out loud, you haven't said my name. Meanwhile, I've called you out... called out yours like a gazillion times now. The wrong name, though. Well... I haven't had the need to say your name. Come on, humor me. Say my name. Why? Say my name, say my name. Anyway. God damn it! <laughs> God damn it! That was a joke! <laughs> I told you, this is fucking meme the game. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Anna. One more time. Anna? Yes! Now one more time. What am I, summoning Beetlejuice? No. Na N Nana. Nana. <laughs> happened again. Maybe I need glasses? Yes, wear glasses, Jill. You'd be cute. <clears throat> There's that feeling again. Did I see someone glitch out in the past? Oh, come on. Why did you want me to say your name? I like hearing people call me by my name. Feels personal and fuzzy. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, but asking people to say your name like that is a bit... Quirky? Creepy. I don't know about that. There was this certain someone who would wake me up in the morning saying my name. Your name is important. Once you know someone's name, the gap between that person and you disappears. Oh yeah, Didn't know that Mouseville was gonna do yeah. that. Once you give names to things, you start seeing them as important members of the family. So what if it's creepy? It's still nice. Stop calling me Joe and use my name then. Say, Anna, can I ask you something? You called about my name, so sure. About your arm. What about it? Oh yeah, I'm lacking one. Did I say the word creepy? Did my saying the word creepy remind you of its absence? Actually, I've been wanting to ask about it since you came in. 
At least be comfortable for a second. I'm trying to get a rise out of you. Sheesh. I think she said uncomfortable, didn't she? Yeah. So what is it? How did I lose him? Yes, that's not too personal. It isn't. I'm actually proud of the tale. Uh, why? You're looking at a proud survivor of nanomachine rejection. Really? I thought that was something doctors detected while a fetus is still in the womb. Yes and no. There's actually two types of nanomachine rejection syndrome. The first one is the most common. They usually detect it while you're still a fetus. That's when you turn into a cat boomer. The other one can sometimes appear in your teenage years. It's incredibly rare, but it's still possible. So that arm... Nanomachine rejection basically causes your body to attack itself. Tissues start ripping Ooh. apart, your organs malfunction. Yeah, it's fucked. I was lucky. In the end, all I lost was an arm and a handful of toes. And yep. my fucking sanity. Get it? A handful. Because I lost five. <laughs> God damn it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> anyway. All in the same foot, or was it like two and three? Yeah, like, I kind of hope she doesn't have just like a nub for a foot. Yeah, that'd be upsetting. Not I even thought a... I'd get some foot fetishism, though. Yeah. <laughs> I have a prosthetic arm, but it's in maintenance right now. Do you have prosthetic toes? I hope so. I would love to see <laughs> how that each works. Each little individual toe. She just has, she just has like little thumbtacks and a little toe beans. <laughs> right? <laughs> just ah. gotta kind of clip them on. Just... There Ugh. you go. Ah, I see. It's a bit weird to be without it. I still like it. I still, okay, I still feel like it's there. Just a couple of hours ago, I tried to grab something, and I just stood there thinking that arm was doing something. Oh, Yang. But anyways, mind getting me another drink? We can keep talking about my stuff after that. Um, right. What do you want? Let's try something classy. It's weird being in a bar and not asking for a fancy drink. Alright. Ask for something fancy, something classy. Uh, I like the way that a mercury blast sounds. No. What? Bad touch? Yes! <laughs> oh, but of course, I did the bad touch for fucking... Who do you think? You got one guess. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, it's God. It's not a bad touch if you pay. That's true. No, it can still be a bad touch. Yeah, you yeah. not good at it. Yeah, exactly. But at least you got paid. Pretty much. All well, in the rocks and... Fucking paid. You paid something good? That sucks. Yeah, it's very true. Here. Oh wait, no, that was you saying here. Fuck. Ah. Here. <laughs> <laughs> this looks expensive. All right, I'm starting to have second thoughts right now. Just drink it. <laughs> I'm starting to feel dizzy. That's nice. That's the booze. That's the booze talking. Yeah. <laughs> you know the fucking no, rubbing that of was... the hole we just gave you earlier. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Is it? Of course. I spent so much time in hospitals and whatnot, but now I'm just living my life, you know? I want to feel the good and the bad. No more being forced to sit quietly in a quarantine room. Mother. Kitty! Kitty! Hi, pretty girl. Oh shit, she sniffed me again. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I can get that. <laughs> Wait, quarantine? Type 2 nanomachine rejection patients are put in special uh, chambers free from the nanomachine particles in the air. Fucking nanomachines. <laughs> that prevents them from being assimilated and aggravating their whole situation. To be fair, not all of my memories of that chamber are bad. I mean, I did spend three, four years in one of those places. Christ. Really? That long? Well, I didn't go for the genetic level treatment, so it was longer. A lot less expensive. I'm not going to complain, though. I'm alive, thanks to all that. And I left with so many fond memories, too. So that's what you meant with the whole feeling nostalgic and isolated places thing. Yep. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Just dizzy. Hey, go. If I ordered two drinks, would you be willing to share one with me? Come again? To be honest, talking about the treatment and all that made me feel a bit lonely. Sorry if that's not something you can do, but I had to ask. It's not something I normally do, but... Nah, eh, what the hell. Sure. Really? Yay! Alright then. I want a piano man and a piano woman. On it. One of each. One so of us. Training. What? So who's the trainee? Okay. Yeah, who is the trap? I'm thinking Jill. 
Jill would be a trap. Just She's remember that the magical warrior will get you. I think that was what her name, what she went by. Was it the magic warrior or something? Magic so warrior. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, okay. Aged and mixed. Alright, gotcha. One piano woman and one piano man. You should see what happens when you fuck up the drink. I kind of don't want to yet. Okay. But... I mean, you can remake it. That's true. $320 drink, I just realized that. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Yeah. On the rocks and mixed. I was kind of hoping you wouldn't notice he drinks the fuck up drink. <laughs> <laughs> Do the drinks. Which one do you want? Do you prefer the man or the woman? I'm bisexual. Okay, <laughs> 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 I'll pick the woman then. See? Cheers. <laughs> Alright, this is getting weird. I said. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Yeah. <sighs> Are you okay? Yeah, I guess I'm fine. I'm just dizzy and sad. That's the booze. Sad? I miss Lynette. Lynette? Who? She and I were the only patients with nanomachine rejection syndrome in the hospital. We... We were together every day. When it was time to eat, she was there. During visiting hours, she was there. Whenever I slept, whenever I cried, whenever I laughed, she was always there. We used to hold hands when we take a dump. And then they made love on the veranda. <laughs> I hope they wiped. I hope they wiped. I hope they wiped too, Holly. How did they put a veranda in the bubble? Don't worry about it. They're bubble children. <laughs> They're bubble children with their own veranda. That's the life, man. Damn. Here I am paying for an apartment. <laughs> Yeah, I wanna do uh, it cost them an arm and a leg there, Holly. God damn it. But um <laughs> Okay. When I lost my arm, she told me I could have hers as compensation. That I could use it however I wanted. Oh. What happened to her? Tokyo flu. Something went wrong with her. <laughs> Kazoon tight. You would say that in response to her immune system and the flu started kicking in. They tried to rush apart of her treatment to reduce the symptoms, but it only made the nano machines go wild. It eventually got to her brain mm -hmm. and sad. I see. Sorry to hear that. The worst part is that if they left her as she'd been, I might have been able to spend an extra year or so with her. But all that work only got her killed sooner. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye, she just vanished. That's tough. I miss her every day. You know? I say I want to forget her, but the truth is that I just want this pain to go away. It's been two years, and I still feel the pain. Every second is just a second without her. I can get so... lonely. Sorry, am I making you uncomfortable, Joe? You're not. Don't worry. Still. Sorry about that. I'm just... We had so many plans about what we'd do after we left. We were so close to being together without the pesky nanomachine rejection, and it's not fair, you know? Why do I get to be here while she doesn't? I try to enjoy life as much as I can, enjoy it for the both of us, but it doesn't seem enough. What do you think? What do I think? Um, well, I think about my grandpa. Your grandpa? He was a harsh guy. Really sincere, but not one to mess with platitudes. It's not like he had a lot of enemies, but many people were cautious around him. But once he died, I never heard a single bad comment about him. Not even from those who used to badmouth him every now and then. Really? Well, the best thing about death is that after you die, all the wrongs you ever committed feel meaningless. Unless you're like Hitler. <laughs> really makes you think about how petty some things can be. Yeah. On second thought... That doesn't have much to do with what you said, does it? But what I'm trying to say is here, don't try so hard, just live, you know? Be grateful you have that chance. I know what I know what you're feeling right now, but you'll get better. Eventually, all you'll remember is the happy moments. I hope so. Sounds like you and your grandpa were close. 
He was my best friend. Losing him was quite the blow. Do you have any regrets in regards to him? I guess not. I mean, it's not like I had a dramatic goodbye or anything like that. He died in a hospital bed while I was at home. But, I don't know. I never had a heated discussion with him, so I don't have that problem. Sure, there's always a bit of, I wish I could have told him this, but that's bound to happen regardless of who you're talking about. Did you leave Lynette after a fight or something? No, of course not. Then you're luckier than most people. Oh. What I mean is, whenever you feel depressed, remember that she left your life. Yeah, she. Ah, remember that she left your life while both of you were on good terms. Whenever you feel down, just try to hold on to that. Yeah, I could try that. Jill <laughs> is a cupcake. She is. <laughs> that cheered me up a bit somehow. Thanks. Anytime. I should be leaving now. Thanks for such a lovely night, Joe. If you feel lonely again, just come back. I will. Well, that was an entertaining diversion. Ah, boss, what happened? I came to ask you that. Huh? You just spent an hour talking to yourself. No, I didn't. There was a girl called Anna here. There was nobody here. I was actually coming to tell you we're gonna close for the night, and there you were chatting with the thin air. A spirited talk, too. Th that can't be! She paid for her drinks! The registry says the money came from your account. God damn it. But all the drinks I served her. You mean the liquid that someone who is definitely not going to be me has to clean off the floor? <laughs> <laughs> but I. Jill, you're worrying me. Are you okay? The last thing I need is another employee who talks to herself. Because you already do that? Right. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... Are you sure there wasn't anyone else here? I even checked the security cameras. You were here by yourself this whole time. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Maybe you're tired. You probably were just sleep-talking really intensely or something. Under the sofa? <laughs> Did you check under the sofa? They're always under the sofa. Every time. That's where Jesus went. <laughs> Fucking Tupac. <laughs> Tupac and Biggie. <laughs> he just went home. <laughs> Come on. I'll drive you home. Maybe you need a rest. Like Elvis. Yeah. Like, Elvis. like Elvis. Fuck off, Jules. What the hell just happened? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Alright, now time for the prologue. <laughs> What the fuck? That's great. Mm-hmm.